listeners, it's the Orfest Podcast with Jay and Alfred and Bayfar. He exists. He's finally Finally! With us. He's finally. here. <laughs> it only took you the this Brofar. long. The, yeah. The infamous well, we Brofar decided. from the forum days. Yeah. Uh, were, you, were you still called, were you called Brofar in the forums? I, at the time? No, no. Oh, wait, we, we transitioned to actual names for Orfest yeah. team members at some point, but before that, when you were, like, just became the admin, I uh, think you were... Forums. No, I was, I was Oracle. Oracle, right. Not to be confused with Horacle. Right, that was someone else. <laughs> that was totally someone right. else. No, you weren't, no, but, um... Bay Why Far, were you Oracle? I, good question, it was the first name that came to Dude, mind. Dude, it's one of those, like, you know those old usernames you had on, like, MMOs and video games that, like, no, when you were, like, no, 12 okay. years old? <laughs> what or, like, MMOs, embarrassing then? emails, like, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, I think the best part about kind of, like, gamer tags, in my opinion, let's just call them that in general, sure. yeah. is that, like, I love the stories usually behind them. Like, like people, like, sometimes it's, like, Dark Horse Princess. Dark Horse Princess, AZN, XXX. Yeah, dra- Asian Dragon Boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was That's my favorite one. Yeah. Um, so, you guys are, like, I, I want to say lucky, but this is really, like, kind of of my own doing, where all my usernames were just Bayfar. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's like, <laughs> now it's your license plate. plate. Yeah, like, now it's Bay my Far, license plate. Bayfar, Brofar, something like that. Bay that Rar, was kind of funny. Bay like uh, I, I was heading to work one morning and I was like, "Oh, hey, there's Bayfar." <laughs> it was so cool. Um, anyways, uh, Bayfar, the um, webmaster of the Odafest website and doer of other things, and doer of and other things. things. My Just official like, title is now the department head for information management and. A- Count something. The, the, or other. the computer I'm stuff. For short. The computer stuff uh, manages our email addresses within Odafest and stuff. If you've so. ever went on the web, o- Odafest website, you have used essentially what Bayfar does. Yes, us. exactly. I am a part of you. Yeah. <laughs> um, he also helps out with registration. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that Bayfar does. Yep. There's, the he kind of does most of us. Most into... of us wear a lot of hats, and yeah, Bayfar wears yeah, hats. we all dip our fingers in everything. So, um, oh. yeah. Um, oh, before we get too far, I want to yep. just say thank you to Memory Express for sponsoring this episode uh we'll talk a little bit about them later um but thank you memory express for continuing to support odafest and the odafest podcast yeah um and i'm gonna throw it back to alfred for some odafest news okay so odafest 2017 early bird pricing so just a quick reminder for all of our listeners to purchase your odafest 2017 passes before december 31st of this year and save 20 dollars off the door price that's only 40 dollars for the entire convention weekend Odafest 2017 will be held at the Downtown Conve- uh, TELUS Convention Center from June 30th to July 2nd. Visit odafest.com slash tickets to buy your pass online. And uh, we got a couple of really huge surprises for Odafest 2017, which will be rolling out throughout the year uh, in the lead up to uh, con season. We've already talked about a few of them. Uh, mm-hmm. We have uh, the voice actress of Sombra from Overwatch coming in um, as our first guest of honor. And we have already announced our cosplay patio slash beer garden, which uh, I'm excited about. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be yeah. even though I'm not much of a drinker. I'm gonna be slightly tempted because I want to. If anything, even if I don't drink, I want to check out the space. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting, right? And it's it's just a, another push on our part to try to provide more um, 18 plus content, despite the fact that content we're, for everyone, content for everyone, despite the yeah. fact that we are a family friendly con. You know, we, we do have multiple audiences. But the thing is, like, right. Odafest turns 19 this year. Right? Yeah, it's like, old enough to drink. Have, listen, so, yeah, it, well. Odafest is. Uh, able to drink across Canada, by the way, because it's 19 years old. And number two is just the fact that, like, our audience kind of grows with us. We, yeah, exactly. we hope that, you know, you come along with us for the ride. It's um, not, our audience grows with us. You were, you were wow. like, you were born. In oh, absolutely. You were born to come to Odafest. Yeah, exactly. Um, it I, it's like. also, like, we always say that we're a family friendly con. And I don't know why this doesn't click with a lot of people, but adults are also still part of a family. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just drop your kid off at the no, no, don't, don't, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Oh God. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to put up signs. <laughs> hey, drop your kid off at this con and you know go drink. Yeah, no, uh, don't do that. Um, that's what my, oh my parents goodness. did when I was young and we went to the Stampede. Yeah, they'd go. They they drop me off with like maybe like. Like I'd have friends, right? Yeah, as long as but, like, I'd be, like I'd be eleven or twelve, yeah. and then we'd go out to the stampede and do our thing. But then, like the whole time, my parents just went to like the casino, <laughs> like good, <laughs> like all good Asian parents. <laughs> hey, they're just trying to get you a college fund. Uh huh. I'm sure. Yeah, best way to invest. Um. <laughs> oh anyways, God. kind of moving on. From that. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much going to be our last episode before the holidays, and we may ha- or may not have a special podcast planned for the holidays. 
But for now, we're just going to talk about the, the season um, in general. So, uh, what are your plans for now available in describe Ooh, video? So many, you know, I've got a couple of parties coming up. I work so much. I keep on saying this, Jeez. but I'm working like 60 hours a week yeah, during yeah. December. But hey man, you're going to be making money. So yeah, man. But it's all about we have. So I'm going to talk about a little event that like. We're hosting, it's not an Odafest event. Right. But it is like for like friends and stuff like is that. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, it is. It's just like, so last year I started this, um, tradition. Yeah. Like, That's a good yeah, word one for year, it. one That's year. Good, tradition good starts somewhere. Start. Yeah, tradition it starts start somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. And it has to do with like just going all out and eating Peking duck. Oh yeah, we crushed like four <laughs> ducks last year. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> the waiter didn't want to give us like that fourth duck. If <laughs> you've ever had, if you've ever had Peking duck and you've never had it, you're, you're living a sad life. It's like I a Chinese. So it's like a Chinese taco. Is the best way I can describe it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, the whole duck is just a Chinese. You know, taco. Just, just, just <laughs> so okay. what it is no, is just like you take, you take Chinese Mexican style. You take cheese. Chinese style barbecue yeah. duck, uh, which is like nicely roasted with Chinese like uh, five spice and that kind so of stuff. So crispy. Very yeah, crispy. it's amazing. And they slice it up, and you basically get like a rice uh, pancake like kind a crepe. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah like rice crepe. crepe, and then you get put like cucumber and green onion. And some poison, mm-hmm. along with some uh, that sliced duck, it is the best thing. And then you roll. Sorry, your before own. you go on, I just want to I want to point out that each like when we when we say a duck, this is actually a three course meal we're talking about. So when we say four duck, it was four three course. Yeah, we're meals. not just we're not yeah. just like going for like a single duck because a lot of what people do because it's usually uh, like it's it's not super ex- it, expensive, but it's not it, super. It's kind of like a family either. thing. People it's go a family group, thing yeah. and it's a celebration thing. It's not yeah, something yeah. you just go out for usually. It has to be for like an occasion, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll do it for like Chinese New Year's or. Uh, maybe a birthday, a birthday, like that kind yeah, of thing, right? Like that, yeah. Um, except like <laughs> when you get this, when you go for it, usually people will go like and throughout my, out my life, how my family does it, and every other family is like you order that three course meal, but usually that's still not enough. Like you still get a couple of side oh, dishes, no. right? Yeah, you get yeah. like some gailan yeah, or yeah. daumyu, like for veg, and you might get some. You, you uh, get uh, the 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 fish soup usually, yeah, as yeah, well, yeah, with the vinegar, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You get like all these little things that are on the side as well that kind of you know help the meal. But we're like, no, I know what we want. We want duck. Yeah. <laughs> so we just order yeah that like the three. four of those three course meals which uh the reason why it's a three course meal is because they use every part of the duck they'll use like some of the like, duck neck for example to uh oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The from there to put it into some, like some stir of that fry soup. yeah as well it's definitely yeah. a feel good meal because it's sustainable yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> and yeah we eat all of it it's just and we're doing it again this yeah. holiday yeah. season so no honestly though like even four ducks i felt like we could crush another one I think yeah, I think that year. waiter well, has begun to three understand. Last year yeah. Yeah, last one. I think that waiter has begun to understand when we say four, we want four. Yeah, yeah, because they. Did, I don't think they believed us. No, they didn't. They didn't want to give us that. Fourth and we're one. going to we're going to crush you. We're coming. We're coming for you. Yeah. You're never going <laughs> to listen to this podcast. That's not the problem. The you problem might. is that the challenge has been issued. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, a- Asian people um, holiday traditions. Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing. We've already mentioned a Christmas holiday party. Mm-hmm. Can do some Secret Santa stuff, stuff man. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in, I'm actually involved I in. Done, a... I haven't done my Christmas shopping yet. I gotta do. Really? I'm not finished. So yet. I bought an Amazon Prime membership just for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, dude, it's worth. You it. You know what? I'm sh- I'm sure that's actually they they get. I'm, I'm sure they get quite the uptick because and as of a... just how. Um, the mentality yeah. around online shopping. And as a student, it's actually fairly cheap. You get your first six months free, and then the, is that, the rest uh, of the year is, that is $40. Thing? Good to know. Sorry? Yeah. Is that a nationwide yeah, thing? Like, is. if you're a student in a general? A student in a post-secondary institution. Oh, wow. Dang you get it. the first six months free, and then every year after that, as long as you're a student, That's is amazing. 40 bucks. Oh, okay. So you um, buy one thing a month, and it pays itself off. Yeah, it keeps badgering me to try, like, the, the, oh, the it's trial. So but so yeah, no, it. I, I got to get in on that. But it's like... I don't know how many times I actually buy stuff online, but yeah. you really only need to buy one thing a month for it to justify itself with the shipping cost alone. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah and like the two day shipping is no joke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. I just, uh, in fact, I have stuff waiting at home right now. Right. Like, oh, the, did the, you did you buy anything on Black Friday? I, I I saw some of the Amazon deals on Black Friday and it was like mm. pretty good. I and bought some of my Secret Santa stuff. I'm actually involved in the international Secret Santa this year. Oh, is it the Reddit one? No, it's the well, it's oh, the related. It's the Imgur one. Oh, okay, Imgur. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Reddit Reddit has one. Um, Sarah did last year she got some pretty cool stuff off of that yeah um it turned out that her uh her secret santa that she got off of reddit uh lived across the street from her and wow. basically, no way no seriously and basically like got, like de- hand delivered her stuff to her that's amazing yeah i know it's like i don't know how that works but yeah um the, the person she got though was like 
in the Netherlands, ne- Nebraska, or something. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I mean, like shipping costs aside, I think it's just amazing because like the stuff that I put on my list isn't really so much like stuff that I normally want. Um, mm-hmm. like like I tell people that I like or whatever. It's really just like t- it, I don't know who got me, but I'm, I'm like, tell me about who you are and where you're coming from. Yeah, because I'm curious. Right? Maybe you got Bill Gates. You, you guys in which case, you're getting nothing, just and he's money. just donating on your behalf somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember he's that. Not gonna yeah. Give, he's not going to give anything. <laughs> you got, hey, kids. man, you got a, like a signed picture. Did, did you get a signed picture? I think you do, yeah. He, yeah, s- okay. he sends you something, and right. then a res- like a charity receipt. Right, so you guys don't know, uh, Bill Gates actually participates in the Red of Secret Santa. And, that's um, funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there's actually, there's, a, there's yeah. quite a few celebrities who do. Yeah, that's actually true. Why not, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the type of thing I do. Not to leave your house, not to sign autographs. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but you know, you get this nice little package from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So that's that's yeah, kind of cool. I guess. Maybe if I get really lucky, I'll, maybe I'll get uh, something from uh, Jamie from Myth, uh, MythBusters. Is he in that? Yeah, Jamie is. is? I think MJ, okay, see, no, I, I think Adam would be because like like Adam tends to be the one more in the public guy because what, since MythBusters ended, right? Like I heard that like Jamie I think and Adam. Jamie's. Really? I don't know, okay. Adam, I, I would picture Adam as more of like a, a Reddit secret Santa. That's kind of true. Person. Yeah. Um, speaking anyway. of which, did you hear about the, uh, the Mythbusters, like, quote unquote reboot? Oh, with the, um. Oh, is it the it, one? Is it the not Netflix with, series? It's not. Okay. The Netflix series is with the old Bill crew. That's Grant, yeah, um, yeah. Kari, and. Okay. I thought uh, you were talking about that one. No, no, no. no they're, they're rebooting one. It's almost like a reality TV show, which sucks. Because like Mythbusters reality TV. No, basically, isn't it already reality TV <laughs> in like a, a very real way? Science, yeah, I guess. Realist so. reality. Yeah. Um, no, but they're they're getting like five contestants to like do the best build and who will be the next MythBuster. It's like it's kind of uh, stupid. So they're following Food Network example, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a huge fan of that. Yeah, no, I neither. Think. But I mean, that's kind of what made MythBusters. Unique. Like, well, no, it's it's kind of what killed the last few seasons of it was that they kind of went the whole reality TV route, got rid of the build team. See, I haven't watched any of the new stuff, man. Like, oh, I, I I only yeah. know like oh, no, it's Mythbusters a, it's, from like the first like three seasons. The last season they got rid of the like last two seasons they got rid of the build crew, yeah. the, uh, and they only what? had Jamie and Adam, and it was just so boring, and it just became like uh, I don't know, it, it just got really dry and stuff. But that's really disappointing. Yeah. I mean, I get it. it like, like ratings change things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. a lot of people don't understand. Look, when you Watch your sh- your favorite show, and then like uh, when you first start out with it, you're like, "This is amazing! Everyone's gonna watch it." And then everyone gets on board, yeah. and then like, don't be surprised that like two years later, the whole formula of the show changes. Yeah, uh, like e- even and it doesn't have to be a reality show; it can also be uh, like uh, a scripted show, such as like The Walking Dead, for example. Oh God, like that right? Oh like, God, that the, the early seasons of The Walking Dead were so good, and now it's like, I, yeah, I, I, it's affected one of my favorite shows, which is like Doctor Who. I don't really love the show as much anymore because yeah. it takes it's it's beginning to take itself too seriously i'm nodding it, in agreement it's beginning to yeah are you serious no it, it's well, started, no, it is but well it started in like like the last couple seasons of david Tennant's. Season. yeah like it, it needed so. it, it honestly shows need to be yeah slightly campier in, in a manner of speaking well it's doctor who yeah it's gotta be campier but yeah. like i mean it has to have good writing too right that that first season with the Character doctor was so like oh man yeah. but like i don't know um i, I know, quit i quit around the 11th doctor just, just right, right when um, Matt Smith came in, and I, I just quit after that. I, like I was okay with I Matt. Enjoyed Matt. I was really? okay with uh, Matt, yeah. and I thought Peter had a real good chance of getting me back into it. Yeah, but it just turns out it's not so much Peter or anything else. Like I didn't like uh, Clara Oswald, Oswald. Uh, very yeah. much. To be honest, she's cute. She's very cute. She's the Dalek but girl. She's just yeah. She's the Dalek girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she she's just not bland. really that mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah, she, like no depth of character. Hey. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Where you, you compare her to other companions, like Donna. T- uh, Donna was great. Yeah. Donna, Donna was, was amazing. Yeah. Donna was great. I like Donna. Okay. Right. Anyways, it's you just, know, it's one thing that I I know I could easily Google, but I haven't because I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I never actually really understood how ratings work in terms of shows. I I don't think that like they can't like track viewership. Can no, they? they they can. They're, they're, like TVs actually have a built in. Oh, do they? To report. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. like I'm, I think there's like uh, for online streaming, there's like well, know, online streaming makes more sense. Yeah, I can understand exactly. online streaming, but it was more like the the. Like your cable box TV. No, I think whatever. there was a standardized thing where your TV or your cable box Reports. actually reported back. Oh, it does. To, yeah, like, like it can't, almost, obviously yeah. it doesn't like it doesn't have a thing of like it's face tracking and being right. like yeah. one, two, three, and then like sometimes it accidentally counts the cat's face and be like oh four. Uh, but like it does that, and if your uh, television is installed inside a uh, bar, like or a business place, for example, right. it they, counts for a set amount of yeah, people, like yeah. They, they 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 make an assumption based off. Whatever, I see. I see. Right. So. At the end of the day, the numbers are off by probably like 
I don't know, a few hundred thousand if you give at or least, take, yeah. of, like, kind of thing for a big program. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, like, at that point, it kind of doesn't matter. Well, right? yeah, at that point, that's, like, maybe, what, like, I almost 5%. feel that, that ratings nowadays are so, like, inconsequential, right? Especially with, like, so many shows being on streaming services. I disagree. And and I think, I think they're, they're more important now because on streaming services, it's not just how many people watch it, but the people themselves can rate what they think that's of that true. show. That's true. You're right. right. So You're it's right, actually, yeah. I would, I would mm-hmm. say it's more accurate. Mm-hmm. But that, with that being said, like, do you, th- like, we're all aware of like certain cult classic shows, like right. such as, well, like let's say like Firefly, for example. Yeah. Do you think Firefly had it never existed, but it started up now in this age of like streaming oh, yeah. and availability? Yeah. Do you think it would have survived for? I think it would have. I, I think, think yeah, yeah, I think it would have. I think, in fact, I don't think Firefly would have died uh, had it not been. We've gotten a second you know, season, like, I think. Yeah, 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 definitely, because I mean, like Firefly wasn't popular because it got canceled in its first season. It was popular because it was a unique show, and that was because of like some sort of like error or miscalculation on on fox's part yeah or something like that but so, I, mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know the history yeah. behind it but i just know there's a lot of unhappy people right yeah oh speaking of which um speaking been, of unhappy people <laughs> no speaking of tv have you guys been watching uh, what have you been watching this season if you guys do watch tv like i i don't really but i, uh, I just to... like started okay. and finished three percent on it's a netflix original oh okay I don't, I don't know what that is um it's basically about um like a two-tier society where everyone starts out in like these like kind of slums or whatever mm-hmm. and then when they hit the age of 20 they have to go through this thing called the process which is essentially a set of trials and only three percent of people not well kind of but not really <laughs> but it's like yes yeah, so only three percent of the people who go to the process will actually make it through to the offshore which is like their utopia land oh okay and it's like it's an eight episode watch each one's like an hour oh, long. what do people do in the um offshore? various tasks like cognitive and etc tasks no no, no but i mean like sorry once they make it oh once they make it there's the game the it's basically it's it's projected as a like a utopic society like everyone's trying to get to this like rich where rich society where everyone's like that sounds like crap yeah well like like, yeah. like unless they expand on it and unless they flesh it out i don't i, the, I don't believe it I mean, I mean, for a second like i'm already yeah. i'm immediately skeptical it's of like such this. a common theme nowadays, it is though, for, it is for, absolutely for shows and stuff though but yeah. i mean was it a good show though it was i enjoyed it and the show like the show isn't about the utopia it's actually about the process and getting through the process okay yeah but that's still the hunger yeah. games kind of like hunger games yeah because like the hunger like games, games isn't yeah. about like oh you won it's mm-hmm. the hunger like remember like if you are familiar with hunger games at all it's like there's a there's a second part is literally oh you won before and you have yeah. you have a perfect life now well guess what back yeah. to the game with you. <laughs> well see you yeah, know actually no it, sense, it, yeah. It, yeah. it did remind me of the Hunger Games um, yeah. a lot it's it doesn't have that specific theme because if you fail out of the process you can never try again you're just stuck in the slums for the rest of your life or you're dead I so, guess like it but wow. at the very but it is, is it not, follows that theme it follows enough. that wow that's that's kind of like Korean Korean university entrance exams yeah. Oh, sure. you, you guys hear about this? I was gonna go, I was gonna go like deeper and be like, it's kind of like the Indian caste system. Oh, <laughs> caste <dude. system. laughs> No, um, Rough, no, I, I read an article recently. I didn't know about this, but like apparently in Korea, your university entrance exams are so important that airports would divert flights away from universities during exam season to avoid distractions. Yeah, but you're also talking about a culture that believes in fan death. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not Good shitting point. on all of Good point. Korea, yeah. but I mean like, they they get so worked up over some things that it's insane. Yeah. Like it's it's an Asian culture thing, but like Japanese and Korean culture especially get and, a little yeah, bit over Chinese culture stuff. as well. Let's let's not kick around. Uh, yeah. I think I I do mean Asian culture in general, but I think it's more well known that it's Korean. And, yeah, okay, and Japanese. yeah, it's more of a report on. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, Walking Dead. Have you been? watching no no i gave up a long yeah, time yeah, so did i same but you did hear about the, the huge like death and the new character and stuff right i think i, we didn't hear talk about the, about I heard about time. the death not oh, the new okay, which right. by the way okay i'm gonna just put it out there because like you want to go spoilers whatever Spoiler but yeah alert. so uh, at this Glenn point does. everyone knows like, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's yeah. been it's been like three or four weeks or something it's like been that, the right? minimum amount of time whatever that is yeah anyway exactly. like everyone so dies point, by yeah. negan's hands yeah and i knew like you know about Who's that and negan? like uh, okay so so negan is like uh the, he's an, he's a real asshole is who he is yeah he, is he? he's the new villain he's kind of like the governor but he's even worse oh okay. he's like a masochist with morals basically um we're at the point where the show is kind of caught up with the comics and it's adapting that arc because negan is like Pretty much half the comics revolve around Negan I being. Like, it's the true. Main like Negan hangers. is actually yeah. such an important character. Yeah. Uh, even though I don't watch the show anymore, point, apparently they got the casting on point and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, Jeffrey great. Dean Morgan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the thing is, like Glenn dies, and I have to say, that was actually well done. In my quite. Opinion. It was yeah. quite. Uh, like I, 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 I just I watched the scene. I watched yeah, the scene. I, I, watched I was, the was scene. like, it yeah. was important enough. I'm a little bit upset that they killed Glenn because, like. 
They follow the comics, Maybe right? Yeah. They follow the comics, which is great. Yeah. Actually, I, I I believe in the comics way more than I believe in the show. Mm-hmm. But just as someone of Asian descent, yeah, I, 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 yeah, look, yeah, it's not that I take it personally. Yeah. It's really just an, an Asian res- representation or like yeah. a cultural Agreed. representation. Agreed. It doesn't matter if you're Chinese or Persian or excuse you, East I don't Indian. take it Persians on this show. <laughs> Persian. Um, but the thing is, like, it's just. It's 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 little things like that, right? Because yeah, now, and, who do you have on that show other than essentially like white dudes and black dudes? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's and then you know you kill off a black dude. Asians always get shafted, yeah. And like I th- I think there's the whole thing um, on Conan where uh, um, what uh, Stephen Yun showed up and basically joked that he wanted to take over Conan's job because then he'd be the only Asian on TV again. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, like so. like another one is like how? Because the truth is like. Asians don't get leading roles. It's no, just they don't, a, a, or or even really good supporting roles. Like the last one I can think of is uh, uh crap. What's his last name? Uh, Cho, John Cho, John Cho on Star Trek. Harry Cho for some reason on Star Trek. Harry yeah. Cho, Harry Cho, yeah, Harry Potter know. and Cho. No, no, I was because thinking because Harold and Kumar. Oh, right, that's John Cho. What, was he? Yeah, he was Harold. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. right, he wouldn't be Kumar. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Kumar Cho. Um, but anyways, so it's just these little things, and it has. Yeah. Like, look, I'm, I, it's not like I want to be an actor. Like, I need to see someone in Hollywood yeah. make it who is Asian in order to justify myself. But it does help. Yeah. Your story and be, it helps your story become more, more realistic, have, has more, more depth grounded. And, and, and like, just with the recent stuff about Ghost in the Shell and all that stuff and Scar Johansson. Even, uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, uh, even. Yeah. With, uh, Tilda Swinton instead of someone exactly. Asian. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't know. There's a really somewhat interesting article about that. Not that I agree with it, but it was like the director going on record to see, to say why they casted her instead. Yeah. But it, I don't know. And you can say, the, again, you can say the same thing about, uh, like East Asians. Like think about, or East Asians. Why am I saying East wow. Asians? East, East Indians. Indians. East Indians. Yeah. Um, because, like, think yeah, about, yeah, think about, like, yeah. You have these two huge population centers in the world. A billion right? people like, each. Yeah. They're over, yeah. A billion people. Literally each. number one and number two. Yeah. In the yeah. World. Essentially. If you just count Asians in general. Yeah. Like not even just like the Chinese. Yeah. Right. Enough. That's like probably what 1.6 billion people or something like that. Yeah. And even if you look at this, the, the demographics in North America as yeah. well, it's like seriously, the majority of people are not white. Yeah. And it can't, and it right, cannot so. just be because of like there's Bollywood and like the Asian, uh, media production. Like it has, I, I don't believe that that can yeah. be the sole factor. It's just that Hollywood doesn't want to do it. No, exactly. And, um, but I mean, again, though, like, look at Hollywood's history, right? From the 1920s until, up until yeah. now, right? It's just all white people. But anyways, um, sorry, I didn't want to get like all, no, 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 no it's fine. It's, I mean, like, it's we, a little we've, happy holidays, <laughs> but we, we've discussed this a lot though. I yeah. mean, like this has been a recurring theme. And the thing is, it's just because, you know, you have two Asian hosts and you all, we all our guests are usually of color as well. Right. I'll, I'll now that I think about it, we've only have one white guy on the show. Andrew. No, three then. Okay, that's around. <laughs> what okay. Andrew's worth two? No, 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 no. It no was, but Andrew, Andrew, but Andrew was born Andrew, in Malaysia. He's he's kind of hell. He's Andrew, Andrew Nathan, <laughs> and uh, he's geographically John, hell. John. That's true. There's only three white people we've had. Most of most of us have. That's been because Asian. we don't have that. Like our our demographic in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, our, our group dynamic is very d- uh, diverse. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Well, not only that, but if you if you think of the Yodafest staff body, white people are kind of a mini- uh, minority. Yeah, in, in our staff body, it just happened to be that way, though. Yeah, I mean, not that we discriminate or anything, but yeah, you um, don't. <laughs> well, it's a, but something on on kind of similar, but on an aside. Yeah, is that I gotta say I'm gonna I'm and it, who's gonna be the next big Chinese or like not it doesn't have to be Chinese, but like Asian action star because like well Donnie Yen's kind of taking that mantle with yeah, Rogue but he, One but it's all that. like he's young. You know what I mean? True enough, but I think right? that, like like no. no no, but Jackie Chan started when he was in his 20s. Yeah. True enough, yep. Right? Jet Li started when he was in his 30s. Yeah. Donnie Yen I think is like in his like he's like 45. I'm <laughs> They're just getting older. <laughs> yeah, like like it's not it's not great and like martial arts movies are dying and like that that genre is never going to be the same. Yeah, Netflix tried to revive. Uh, but that's not crushing. necessarily a bad thing, if you think about it. I mean, yeah, martial, arts, thing. martial I arts movies weren't the same before and after Bruce Lee, for instance, right? Mm, yeah, they like, like Bruce Lee. Actually, they I would say that Bruce Lee is. Bruce Lee took a formula and improved on it, I would say. I wouldn't say Bruce Lee is the. I wouldn't say he was the catalyst, though, though for it. There well, was... I mean, I mean, okay, the thing is, though, prior to Bruce Lee, um, most 
Chinese kung fu movies, right? Were like wuxia movies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he kind of modernized it, brought it into like you know the seventies or whatever, and mm-hmm. just kind of made it more appealing to North American. He brought it into the limelight, artists. basically. Brought it into the limelight, yeah, yeah. right? And then since then, like he, it's kind of redefined the whole action movie. But and I, I would Chan say like he in. started by like Jackie Chan really grew it. Oh, definitely, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point did. is that like you could say it's it's never going to be the same, but it that can go both ways, right? It can be a positive or a negative. Yeah, but I mean, like it's, it's never going to be the same in the sense that we don't have any starring actors in in those type of roles. True enough. And the truth is, like, I don't know how many that you're gonna um, get. They're gonna do their own stunts anymore. You know what? That's though? true. I can agree. I, I'm, with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kind of disagree here because like authenticity okay, is key, though. Kind of tying this back into the Netflix thing, though, with the you know, streaming and torrenting and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, ten years ago, we wouldn't have known about a movie like The Raid. For instance, right? Oh, yeah. the raid was so. Oh good. god, that oh, movie was. Did you watch the second them. one? Have you seen the second? one? I haven't one? seen no. the second. Oh my god, it's, it's, so, it's just as good. I know is it because I was scared? One. I was scared that they were gonna do like okay, a whole so, sequel syndrome. No, no, no. Okay, but the thing is, it's it's like bigger and better, right? It's a lot more serious. Um, and this is a plus on a straightforward. But um, some of the action sequences they film were crazy. There was a car chase where literally. There's a behind the scenes where the cameraman is passing from oh, car I've to car. I've seen this. I've seen that. From car to car to, to document everything. So you're just like right it's in the moment. So That's cool. Amazing. And yeah. you can actually see like the, you don't notice this in the movie, but like, yeah, yeah. The, the gu- car's missing like the door. And then, and, um, the, the, well, actually the doors, yeah. And they, no, the door's there. The door in. No, so, but they had to get around like the, the passenger seat. Yeah. Right? But so, the passenger seat's a person. Yeah. yeah. Passenger there, there's seat a guy costume. dressed as a passenger seat. <laughs> oh, that's totally, oh, and they hand off the, the camera. Yeah. He rips yeah. out of it, right? Yeah. And it's amazing. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. They no. hand off the camera to him. Yeah. Cause he's the, he's the cameraman hidden as like a passenger seat, like wearing a passenger seat costume. So when the camera comes into the car, the passenger seat guy grabs the camera and then yeah. moves it and starts filming. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. But, um, like that's the type, that's the type the type of thing i'm talking about right you're talking about authenticity and like you know east asian uh cinema and stuff like that that's kind of what's up and coming right because i didn't even know indonesia had a movie industry up until i, I saw so, the raid yeah. right that's true yeah so i mean like the truth is like globalization really yeah i think i think all all we gotta wait content. all we gotta do is wait right because yeah. like i mean uh the, the guys who did the raid right end up in the force awakens mm-hmm. right that's the two gangsters that ambushed han solo mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i mean like it's, That's it's, not how the force works. <laughs> it's a cameo, nonetheless. But I mean, the, the fact is, right? Like, like I, it's I exposure. Think it, it's, it's, it's exposure. It's, We're it's, starting it's to the see more of a new cycle. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe. So, well, yeah, maybe I can accept that. But anyways, getting getting back to a few <laughs> things. We so the great part is we've had this fantastic discussion, but we really have some stuff that we really would like to talk about as well. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have that? Do we? No, man. We'll just, we'll just do it like. For, I don't know, man. No, no, no. There's some. There's some really good stuff that's coming out for going back to the holiday stuff, man. Right? Because yeah. like the holidays is a time where you just kind of pack in, like, like for companies, the you weight? pack up, you pack in all the sales you can do. But how do you oh, do yeah, that? Black Friday. By literally just like pumping up and hyping every release you can possibly give and everything mm-hmm. like PlayStation Experience. Just do you have your Rogue One tickets yet? Uh, yes. Yeah, so do I. Do, do uh, I'm going on the 19th. Run? No, I, I, like, I want to, but I'm not going to be available. Available. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah. I'm going on the 19th. Are you going on release? Uh, release, release 19th. 16th. Yeah. Nice. Yep. That's Friday. Where? Uh, going to be up in Country Hills. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, we we were sitting on the servers and like Cineplex didn't like have them on sale right away, so we went over to. Uh, Did you get any of the studio? extra shit like yeah. uh, AVX? Landmark. No, or, like I don't believe. I don't. I don't. <laughs> douchebox. D-box, I like that. Man. D-box. <laughs> every I like time that. I only call it douchebox because every time I see like D-box, right? Like it's the same thing as saying like D-bag. So Listen, yeah. the one time D-box. D-box to me has been worth Pacific was Rim. Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. I, I really have, enjoyed it. I still haven't seen that movie. You're not missing out, like of a like you're not missing out in terms of story, but you are missing out in terms of robots bashing. Like, like I said, I can't creatures. decide if um, Pacific Rim is an awesome, stupid movie or a stupid, awesome movie. <laughs> I, I still can't decide. And it's, it, that's the way I like it. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, uh, Holly releases for games or you want to talk about, oh, right? So many, so many. <sighs> okay. So, so can we just list them off and not of them, talk again, about like PlayStation so, experience just yeah, happened. Yeah. And we, we keep talking about like the November crush. There's a December crush now. Well, yeah, because sort of, like, or, and like of announcements, if, especially yeah. if you're Canadian, because I don't think Boxing Day is really caught on in the U.S. as much, but no. Boxing Day is still a huge thing here. And, but now we also have Black Friday to deal with because of the U.S. Can, influence, right? Canadian, Thanks, guys. Canadian Black Friday is not that great though, honestly. No, but, but it is a big thing. Yeah. Right? It's growing, right? It's not, it's yeah, not, it's, it's not going to be as big as it's what better, it is. It yeah. just gets into this huge promotion mm-hmm. cycle if you're Canadian. Right. It's better on Amazon. Starting oh, in absolutely. November. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, starting with like, so let's talk about, let's talk about PlayStation experience. Yeah. 
interesting experience. So, like, all the stuff that was announced there. Yeah, I tried so four, much. Last of Us Part 2. Jeez, Last of Us Part 2. Okay. I think that's going to be great. Yeah, even it's though I've never amazing. played, like, yeah. I know it's an amazing game. I just don't have yeah. uh, a PS4, so. And if we want to talk about the big announcement from uh, the Game Awards, Death Stranding. Uh, or, uh, well, that was already announced, but, like, the, the, the casting announcement for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I almost bought a PS4 just to play Final Fantasy 15. You're oh still, man, it's so good. It? It's so I'm good. I'm still thinking about it's it. It's so good. I'm not like the last Final Fantasy I finished was FF6 on the Super Nintendo. Really? Yeah, like I, I never, I never got to seven, never got to eight. FF15, I'm gonna finish. You never got to use you? You never got to eight? How dare you? No, okay, <laughs> dude. All right, this. triple triad. Yo, okay. best theme okay, song tri- yes. ever. Agreed. L- Yo. L- it's something about Someone card made- games. Card games and video yes. games are amazing games. Are, are you- Witcher three, Gwent, Gwent, Gwent. Is Gwent. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first of all, two things they're making. They're making it. Yeah, yeah. Two things. A, um, there's a for Gwent. There's actually a, a standalone game. Yeah, I, I got yeah, into I the closed beta last week for it. What? Yeah. And it took. It only took him like three months there- to get me in. And second, someone made a real life version of Triple Triad. Oh. Like a board game style version. I don't know what it is, but it's just like so well done. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the actual game. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. No, but, like, that, yeah. that distracted me, and then I got back to the actual game, and I was just like, okay, this is not that fun. Fair enough. No, I can understand. There's always the there's always going to be the it, people who it, like Final it. Final Fantasy like 8 it. starts so slow, though. It does. It, yeah, it, it, does. Does. it started slow. Like, comparison it, it, to Final yeah. Fantasy 7, which starts much quicker. Yeah, um, but then slows well, down. Like, FF7 yeah. slows down. And FF7 like, slows down, and... Well, here's and the thing. Like, gets in, better near yeah. the last third. In right. 7, you, you start by being thrown into a battle. Like, thrown into, like, a situation in which you need to, like, kind of fight exactly. your way out. Yeah. And then, yeah, then yeah. other FF8 stuff happens. Think of it just... kind of like a, like a... I guess like a sine wave or like a like yeah, you know, yeah. like, a, like a hill, yeah. right? So seven started at like the peak and went down and went back up. Eight I thought that you're like, a fucking student. Yeah, you're a for student. the first <laughs> two hours. Yeah, you're a student, and then and then you, you go battle. You, you go battle a little bit, but it's yeah. not like anything really important. You're but like fuck. the battle is literally an exam. Yeah. Yeah, it's at least you get E free. Yeah. yeah, you do. That's yeah, good. and I'm like the, the, um, the whole junction system and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I love. Yeah, go back to Final Fantasy. Right. 15. So 15. talking about like that, or yeah, I yeah. don't know what the fuck I said. Um, that whole kind of like start and go process. Like, how yeah. good is it? Okay, so I, I'm not. I, I'm pretty early in the game. I've already sank eight hours into it, but I like I'm only in like the first thir- three chapters, four the first chapters, three percent. Got it. Yeah, because there, <laughs> there's like. 14 chapter 15 chapters i'm on chapter wow. four uh-huh. i have sunk eight hours into it yeah because the and the thing is two hours of chapters not it, it's bad. such a refreshing change of pace because the thing is um the game is gorgeous for one thing but it it's not like most triple a games where it's like go 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 and like this huge bland spectacle right it asks you to slow down and take in the sights and that's really awesome to me mm. where it like there's long stretches where you're just oh sitting in a car going on a road trip and it's awesome i heard yeah. that you can like there's three different options when you're driving you can either fast travel you can drive or you can have someone else drive you can, while some, you're just, like, a you, you can fast travel provided you discovered uh certain places um you can have you can drive yourself uh or you can have your butler drive basically and, right like um, and you can just like take in the sites kind of thing or whatever. yeah speaking, exactly speaking of the whole like like because i don't have a ps4 bayford doesn't have a ps4 uh, yeah, but like, I mean, I would kind of, I would get into it if I, I did, but I was, I was talking with Rob the other day about yeah. this. The truth is, I think if you're not, like, if you don't just need to play it on, upon release, I think if you waited a while, and it's going to be a while. This is going to be a PC release. It's definitely. probably going to be a well, PC yeah, release because yeah, like every, every to. Final Fantasy between three to nine or, uh, in, in, in a row has, is on Steam. And then you also have, uh, 10, 10, two. Yep. The and, and uh, 11, 14. Yeah. Well, did 10 and 10 2 get released on PC? They did. Yeah. Uh, the as part of the like, like, remaster? The thing the is, is like, yeah. you, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, if you want to be, like, even if we hear that the game is fantastic, yeah. if you want to wait a couple yeah. years. And, and right now, there's severe pacing PC. issues at the end of the game. Really? Yeah, yeah chapter 13 is really, really bad from mm-hmm. what, and, and the thing is, but today, Square just announced that they're going to release a patch that actually, like, kind of fixes some of those issues, mm-hmm. improves the pacing, and actually introduces more story. I'm surprised that the people Curious. who have already gotten that far, into the game. No, well, okay. there was the whole thing where people got early copies. Oh, There's, that's true. The early copies and the thing, the structure of the game is kind of cool because like it's open world now. Yeah. So you can blast through just the. Story. Oh, so kind of like yeah. if, you, if if I'm thinking like Skyrim, where you can go just do the main quest, Correct. or you, do, yeah, like, a or bunch you can of side just quests. avoid yeah. the main quest like yeah. the plague. <laughs> uh, Did I tell you I accidentally yeah. beat the main quest in Skyrim at like level fifteen? <laughs> 
So I just, yeah, because I was like, I, okay, I'm going to play a little bit through the main quest so I can unlock these abilities or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going to go do a bunch of side quests. And yeah. then I, kept, I kept doing kind of like that as a formula. Yeah. And eventually I'm like, oh, big dragon to beat. All right. Well, Elder Scroll. Okay, sure. Let's beat this dragon. I'm going to go do some side quests. Then I'll finish the game. Beat the dragon. Credits, credits start roll. rolling. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's definitely happened to me sometimes. Are you? Have you played any of the HD Skyrim? Are you no. thinking HD remaster? Yeah, on the PC. Uh, there's no point though with with the PC. There's so many mods, right? Like you don't yeah. really need like if you want. Well, no, but mods, you so. have to account for the fact that it's 64 based. So now, oh yeah, all yeah, your yeah. mods are better too. Right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just something like that. No, I I, I never got, really got into Skyrim. I might get into it with the HD remaster. Yeah. But and I, and I want to see. I think it's going to come out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy 15 is eventually going to come for the PC. I'll wait for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of PCs. Uh, I would like to take a quick moment mm-hmm. to thank Memory Express for sponsoring our episode today. Since 1996, Memory Express has established a leadership position as the premier destination for computer products and services across Western Canada, with stores in Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, and Winnipeg. Whether you're looking to build your own gaming machine, need a new high-definition flat-screen TV, or just want information on computers and electronics, Memory Express is here to help. If you're looking to purchase online, Canada-wide flat rate shipping is available for only $8.99 for all orders under £50. That's like three whole PC builds plus accessories. Visit MemoryExpress.com for all your home electronics needs today. Okay, thanks, Memory Express. Yeah, I actually literally recently built another computer. Yeah, I see. I, see from, I bought. I bought it from yesterday. I yesterday. see. An, I see a box for an i5 on the table. Uh, possibly a hard drive. Yeah, or, it's a, it's a bunch these of. These are games things that Jay for, actually forgot to give his friend. Oh, okay. After he helped yeah. Him they, well, these are just accessories like oh, mouse okay. clips and oh, stuff like okay. that. All right. For the SSD and all that. An i5. But, oh, 6400. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a decent one. Yep. Again, it's a budget gaming game computer. It was just about 950 bucks. Wow, uh, that's actually pretty good. That's these, not bad. Yeah. 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 950. What, what's the What's the GPU? A 1050 Ti. 1050. Jay okay. learned today that not all GPUs require extra power. I was just so amazed by how <laughs> yeah. fucking small it was because mine yeah, yeah, yeah. is massive. PCI. Yeah, my yeah. my 1060 is a it's PCIe. Actually, yeah, it's a short PCIe. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, so getting back onto so moving away from Final Fantasy a bit. PSX. Yeah, because like yeah. I I haven't really. By the way, that is such. I I, I agree with you. Yeah. On the PSX thing. It's yeah. the most annoying for thing. years. So I got so confused. Oh yeah, their their consoles. Like yeah, the PS. No, do everything like their cameras, right? The PS, the PS One, the PS Two, the PS. Well, no, I went PS, PS One, PSX. Yes, because they renamed the PS One to the PSX yeah. after they got like yes. the smaller version. Then PS Two, then PS Slim, they, then PS Two. Yeah, PS Two Slim, and then they came out with another thing called the PSX, which was a. It was like a, a cable box with a like with an integrated PS2. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that. It was something like that. I, it, it didn't really like it didn't it's really so, hit the market. The, Sony just sucks at naming things, you're right? Like hardly, I mean, like yeah. look at their uh, their camera line is like the next three, next five, next seven. I was gonna 86, say, 000. let's yeah. be honest, yeah. gaming yeah. companies in general suck at naming things because like not the Nintendo's any better. Xbox Fucking One, Xbox Ugh. is the annoying. As hell. Yeah. Xbox, yeah, Xbox One, Xbox 360. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell are the other two? Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's not even like a lot of companies suck at doing not not just gaming, but like even like hardware companies. Yeah, I I think just that's like the Windows, that's the, that's the Windows media. Seven, <laughs> Windows that's Eight, the, Windows Ten, Windows Ten. Yeah, we just yeah, but Windows nine. Ten they explained. And yeah, no, there's yeah. A, there's act, there's an actual reason behind the fact that there's no Windows yeah. Nine, but yeah. at the same time, so. like I would say Windows actually has the best of. It. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, really but about. anyways, yeah. So we left off Last of Us Part Two. That's yep. going to be incredible, I think. Uh, and I really hope it fixes all the gameplay issues in the first one that I had. Um, I, I just didn't like. I like the story of the first one. I mm-hmm. did, didn't. Yeah, like I'm still gameplay. only halfway through the first. It didn't. One. It played like crap. Honestly, yeah. like a lot of people say, "Oh, I love the gameplay." I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, what's wrong with Capcom? Infinite? Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. The that, trailer looked oh, amazing. I hate. Like, I don't like fighters. I don't like Marvel vs. So Capcom. Good. To be honest, I, I'm I'm not a fighting game person. I'm a, I'm a huge fighting game person, and yeah. I do not. I'll, and before people are gonna it's all like, aerials, jump on it? it, it's because of that. It's literally you make a mistake, they start juggling you. That's game over if they don't drop their juggle, yeah. right? You can't get out of the juggle unless you basically have a burst mm-hmm. to get out of it. But if you don't have that, you're fucked. Yeah. And that, that to me, that's not a good fighting game, man. Like, right? It, 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 you just get like you make one mistake. 
and you're like you lose a character. Mm-hmm. Yep, that but sucks. From what I hear though, that there, there is a bit of like a like meta though, right? The, the roster is so huge that like a new meta occurs every couple. Of, like, <laughs> it is months true. There is like there's but, a lot of diversity and variety, but I just I don't know. I just I don't like the tactics mm-hmm. that are employed more than um, anything else. I, okay, so the name infinite right that kind of says to me it's not really mvc4 per se it's going to be kind of like street fighter 5 where they continually update it it's going to be like a service street fighter 5 finally got akuma yeah <laughs> how long has street fighter 5 been out i think i want to say eight months yeah something like it's that. like drip feed of content how, how can you people only not release like... akuma now yeah yeah no people were not happy i heard well no no i, I get that but I, I remember like when that announcement was made during psx someone in the audience was just like thank you <laughs> you know what watching I hope, I hope he sucks watching game shows is the best just to watch like the audience reactions like e3 last year which is so good just to watch audience reactions they should have a camera just for that yeah they no. do they did it psx oh did they did yeah it? there were people oh. like and it was weird because you'd think like you know for something like this people would be in their seats watching maybe cheering yeah around. yeah there were like, people, maybe like, like jumping out of their yeah, seats right? oh dude yeah. um have you seen the uh like back when game trailers were still around they did an e3 stream and during the sony uh uh announcements and stuff okay i'll show you the video but there, there's like kyle bossman and like a whole bunch of other guys were, okay. were on the show and like um you remember how they announced ff7 remake and sure. right after announced shemu 3 yeah like these guys could not handle it yeah like they were someone's like, gonna have a heart attack no yeah <laughs> okay they they <laughs> were t- the they were tipping like chairs over they're like oh my yeah. god and stuff over ff7 like right out. and then um they're like okay calm down it's a bunch of indie games and then the little feather from shemu 3 comes in yeah. and then one guy his one wish for e3 was shemu 3 and he literally grabs his headphones slams them on the ground and starts screaming he destroyed his yeah. own <laughs> personal property it's so good I, I don't think I've ever gotten that excited for anything. Sure. I'd be like, I'm torching my house. No, I'll, I'll show you. It's so good. Um, anyways, uh, Crash Bandicoot remastered. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm oh, so good. yes. Crash so Bandicoot. I liked Crash Bandicoot, but I gotta say, in my opinion, the better game is Banjo Kazooie in a similar vein. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Like, I mean, it's I, it's more open, right? Yeah. Because uh, Crash Bandicoot, the first one, Bandicoot was, like, was Band- much more. Open. Crash, but Crash, Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot has that shield, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's Booga. my favorite character. Ooga Booga. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Just saying Ooga Booga really quickly. Yeah. There's uh, Resident Evil 7, uh, uh, which is going to be interesting. Basically PT 2.0, except it's yeah. Resident Evil now. Well, here's the thing. For for Resident Evil, because they, they announced that it's going to be available on the, the PlayStation VR. Yep. Right? Oh, God. So... I think, well, here's the thing. I, I really hope that it's not all just going to be jump scares. Because there's, to me, there's two types of horror games. Yeah. There's the, there's the ones that I, I consider cheap and they just rely on jump scares. Think like, I don't know, like Outlast. 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 Yeah. The first thing we all said was <laughs> yeah. like, Outlast. And I mean, Outlast really, after you get past the first, like, I don't know, like, you know, I have a, I have a really high, uh, scared tolerance. Like it doesn't, like yeah. it doesn't, uh, it's not easy to just get me freaked out. And especially like, so the first two jump scares is like, great and then after that you're like well now i just have to run away from this guy like a lot yeah like, you know what i mean and then, in the so, dark and find a battery and mm-hmm. run away more and and if you don't then he grabs you and ooh, no, like, it's no. Just not, yeah no so that's yeah, so that, not good and then i consider like the good horror games in my opinion are the ones that give you that like they instill that atmosphere of they fear yeah yeah so something like amnesia for instance where yeah. It's not like they they have like one or two jump scares. It's like when the, the name, shows up. like the name, yo, the 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 basement, the flooded basement. Yeah, the, yeah. The with the invisible dude. The invisible dude. Oh, exactly. That is so terrifying. That actually. I would consider like that's a that's a a classy way to put in a jump scare right. into a game that right. that instills an yep. atmosphere of fear and suspense, and, and that, which and, makes it a yeah. good horror game. And that and that's like kind of the the fine balance that horror games have to go for, right? But it's like, the same thing with movies. Yeah, like I, I didn't There's like a lot of jump scare movies. I didn't yeah, like Amnesia yeah, because like I, I felt the fear came from like your controls being so limited, mm-hmm. right? But the thing is though, um, have you played Resident Evil Four? I have. Yeah. Okay. So I love Four because the thing is like all your mistakes are punished, right? And like, yes. they're just lumbering towards you to build tension, right? Yeah. So at that point, you're you're making mistakes because you're scared. So, but the thing is, your controls aren't so limited that you can't get out of any situation. Right? I would love to see a game where your mistakes are... Because, okay, so I'm just going to dial back for a second and yeah, say, yeah. I just got to throw this out there as a precedent. Like, humans are not really long-term thinkers. No. Right? You, you have your, <laughs> yeah. like, instant gratification. You have your short-term whatever. Yeah. So I want to see a game that doesn't only punish your decisions right then and there, but like it, they add up and like as you, the more mistakes you make, the game just overall starts getting harder and harder as a game. Oh, dude, that's like, See, that um, would be, that, that'd be, that'd be great, but that's, it's too close to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
um, <laughs> I play games to escape life. Well, well, sort of. I mean, like, there's games like a. Uh, um, Oh, what is it? Uh, Heavy Rain or Life is Strange or Life is Strange was amazing. Because it's like um, I was gonna, but I mean, like in comparison to life, it's like until let's say like you, you know, you do poorly in high school and then you drop out of high school and then you're like, (laughs) oh, oh, you can still get a job, but then you can't like, but then it's harder to get into college. The game is just you play like Like, you working at McDonald's (laughs) for like twenty years. It's rough. I'm not, I'm not trying to make fun of. Oh, you've seen that Rick and Morty episode? That just sounds like rough as hell. If you play a game of that, I'm like now, like you're selling me some poor kids like. Oh shit! Have you seen the? You you want Rick and Morty, right? I really want to get into it. Oh, me too. No, this, this, this is one episode where where Morty plays this uh, like arcade game where he play where he plays as a guy named like Mark or something. Uh-huh. But then like he, he ends up getting cancer and like oh. in the game, and it's like you, <laughs> you play you play no. this whole guy's life from childhood to death, right? Yeah. And then like he he jumps out of it. He's like, "Holy crap! This is so terrible! Oh my god! I had a wife!" And then like Rick is like. <laughs> Dude, you 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 got cancer and you went back to the carpet store and then Rick puts on the helmet and then everyone in the arcade comes up to him. He's like, "Holy crap! He's taking Rick off the grid. He has no social insurance number." <laughs> it's so good. Actually, yeah, sorry. Good. What? While you were saying that, I actually I remembered of a game that does the it makes your life harder based on the decisions you make, yeah. and that's Fallout. Oh yeah, because yeah, if you if you put no intelligence follow-up. into your character at the beginning of the game, <laughs> oh, all of your yeah. dialogue options change to <laughs> yeah. something. But the game also like. Like, first of all, everyone basically treats you like an idiot. And, like, they, they all just, like, kind of discriminate against you randomly, especially in New yeah. Vegas. Yeah. But the best part is the game kind of throws you a bone sometimes, where at one point you're, like, at a robot, and it requires a password to decrypt. So if you have, like, a normal character, you can eventually hack it or whatever. And, and then you, you find out eventually, character. for whatever reason, the password is ice cream. Uh-huh. But if you have an intelligence of zero or one or whatever it is, at one point, like, it gives you the option just to shout out ice cream. And <laughs> it lets like, you through. And, and the robot's like, all right. And lets yeah. you through. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, Anyways. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in no Elder Scrolls, uh, like, another announcement for that. But they're probably seeing that for E3, yeah. I'm guessing. Um, oh, when I, um, oh, what was that game? The game where, like, you, I'm sure you saw the trailer because it was in PSX, mm-hmm. where it started when you're kind of like in the slum and you're wearing like a hijab and you're walking through. Oh, um, wait, was that was that PSX or was that Game Awards? It was PSX because I watched it today. Okay, um, while I was watching PSX, I I don't know. I didn't watch all of PSX actually. I didn't watch the whole press conference. Oh, I I saw. I don't remember the name of it. But. I thought. I honestly thought it was going to be the next like Lara Croft. Oh, game. oh, Revolution 1979, wasn't no. it? No, no. no okay, no, that that not. one that one was nominated for like Games for Social Change at uh the the Game Awards, mm-hmm. and it kind of the same sort of deal, mm. but like I don't know. Um, it looks really cool. I'll, I'll have to look that up. It sounds interesting. I kind of like socially aware games. Yeah, kind of like those. Uh, Nino Kuni too. Haven't played the original one. And I know it looks beautiful. I just yeah. again, this is the consequence of not having a PS4. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Like there are some really great games. You miss out on some stuff. Yeah. The but art style in that game looks like Studio Ghibli made it. Well, it is. It is Studio. Is Ghibli. it really? Yes. Oh my goodness! You just lit up. Wow. <laughs> You're like maybe I'll. I might buy a PS4 there. after all. Yeah. Well, dude, Ace Combat. I know. Oh my Ace god. Combat. Okay, they're back in Strange Reel, which is the best thing. So it's like the Aussie Federation and all that. I'm like, yes, I thank really, you. I really hope they do something better than the dogfight system. That in, was uh, that to me felt so bland. In, in Assault Horizon, yeah, in Assault yeah, Horizon, yeah, that was. It terrible. was like terrible. I'm gonna press a button and suddenly all I have to do is fill a reticle and then shoot missiles at you. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. like the the dogfighting in the originals was just like. I yeah, mean, like it felt great. Like it felt arcadey, but it was like really yeah. fun. You you literally did feel like an ace pilot, and um, it looks like it's like it's actually returning to that, but mm-hmm. which is really pretty graphics. And, and Ace stuff. Combat, their their soundtracks are always so on. Holy point. crap! Like I heard the music well, there's going. There's so like, much yeah. music that goes along with like flying and like, dog fighting. Like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 man. Okay, like you can listen to this stuff. And it'll, you just feel great. You just you, feel great. You, like it lifts you up. You feel like you can take you on the world. Me up. Okay, just okay. <laughs> when, when we're done, go Google "Liberation and Grace Maria." Oh, Ace so Combat good, 6. so good. Best, best oh. Ace Combat song, "Liberation yeah. and Grace Maria." Maybe I should like because I've been playing. Uh, kind of going back to just like Black Friday or like sale, sales, like Steam sales, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I finally picked up GTA Five. Finally, yeah, you've been yeah. wanting that for a while. Yeah, okay. I, have, I, what like, do you I don't know. I just like waited and waited, and honestly, I don't have a lot of time for gaming in general. Mm-hmm. But I've already sunk like forty hours into it. Yeah, you like, like you've stopped playing Overwatch to play GTA Five. Yeah, and it uh, makes me sad it's because Overwatch takes more time for me. Like yeah. honestly, it does it the way I, the, the way I like to phrase GTA Online, especially because that's what I've been playing most of, is not really the story. Yeah. And you know, a lot of it is old news. But the thing is, like, 
Uh, the great thing about GTA Online is that, first of all, all the DLC is free. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Second of all, there's just like so many different multiplayer things. And what it is is it's kind of like a modern MMO. Because you have it like, is, it, yeah, you run, it like, you run yeah. like instances where you go on heists and, uh-huh. or races or raids or, or whatever, have exploding right? phones. Yeah. yeah. Use the <laughs> <laughs> but you do a lot of things that are kind of like MMO like, so you kind of have to dedicate that right. amount, but at least I don't have to, like, you don't have to buy anything. Right. right? So, it's, so it's you, fun. you've been more playing the multiplayer, not the single player, right? Yeah. The single player I know is good too, but I just haven't really gotten into right. it as much because I figured the way I figured it is like, mm-hmm. I can play the single player anytime. Right. I can play the G- online anytime too. And you know what, honestly, I just want to feel more mm-hmm. accomplished and build my avatar up. And honestly, I think, I think status. holidays are the best yeah. time to get into online games though, with the exception of some shooters. Like, you know, like no one, everyone on, who plays Call of Duty or like, you know, Titanfall or whatever, they're, they're all dreading the holiday rush of noobs. That's well, true, right? yeah. But, I mean, if you like game companies will take advantage of that. Yeah. Like, Back when back when Team Fortress Two wasn't free to play, oh, right? they would man. usually have free weekends in the holidays. Yeah, yeah, Overwatch yeah. had a free Overwatch weekend had a free recently. weekend. Yeah, They're exactly. coming out with a uh, holiday a event. Holiday event. Yeah. I, I think it's I think it's gonna be cute. It's like this is still Overwatch's first year. It feels like it's been yeah. around forever. Yeah, already. Yeah. They did reason, that but, well though. That's how that, that's how yeah. well they're running their product. R- yeah, but it's well ingrained. Yeah, like I, the Into core the gameplay just doesn't appeal to me anymore. I like but, it. I mean, like, um, I I do like I do like the skins. I do like the customization. I, 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 I like the, all that. I like, I like the, the fact story. that the I the love the fact cool. that yeah. the customization, all the skins or whatever you can unlock, doesn't change the game. The it's game all balance, purely yeah. aesthetic. Yeah. But that's kind of a slippery slope, though. How long until we go a TF2 model? I really hope they never look. Do. If they go yeah. the TF2 model, the truth is, like, I just but you know, see I the thing is, like, I don't, it's like supporting that is a choice. So just yeah. make the choice not support. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I didn't, I didn't really mind the TF2 model though, because like the, the changes to the weapons were, were kind of cool to me. It just gave it a little more variety, but without fundamentally. You know, balancing. I'll, I'll agree with you, yeah. but only to a certain point. There came a point for me where it was um, too much. It got too much and it was to the point where oh, yeah, decreased after it. I stopped playing yeah. for a while and came back, I was overwhelmed by the number of weapons. And right. think of what yeah. that's going to feel like if you're a new player. Right. Yeah. yeah. With like the base equipment, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And that being said, like TF2 is a great game because of it ha- like all mods it can support and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Like I love Prop Hunt and TF2. Oh, it's Prop Hunt was so That's the fun. best game. That's mm-hmm. the best subset game in TF2. Like, it's better than or Gary's, Gary's mod, mod version yeah. or, Prob or Hunt anyone to else. Prop Hunt TF2 was what like so Dota much. was to Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, agreed. It's um, amazing. Or like uh, or maybe that's maybe that's too bold of a statement. Uh, but, well, yeah. yeah, it's not going to spawn its whole new genre. Yeah, but, like I mean, but yeah, just back to Overwatch stuff. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be cool. It's going to be a little bit better than like the Olympic. Yeah. Well, they're releasing yeah. a new map, right? They're releasing a new map. Yeah, oh, wait, I'm looking forward to yeah. it. cars. <laughs> cars. Yeah, all we've seen so far is the the, the King's Row Winter thing, though, and we haven't seen we haven't seen any of the new skins. Either. No, we haven't. We've seen yeah. footage of the new map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen There's that. Yeah. Confirm and new voice lines and stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, new voice lines. Sombra. Yeah, Sombra. <laughs> <laughs> just throw that. No in. new character though. I, th- I think after Sombra, they're gonna take a break on the characters. I, well, here's the thing. It took like between Anna and Sombra, they took a while, right? And I think they, I think yeah, Blizzard cares a lot about balancing characters properly. So I, Before I actually I commend yeah. them. For despite like the backlash from the community, that they are taking their time making sure that their characters yeah. are balanced before releasing. Yeah, them. but then again, Sombra is. Was, and it's not like they make yeah. you pay for your new character. Exactly. That's true. So, like, That's shut true. Up, right? Yeah. Um, the truth is, is like just wait yeah, and let them produ- give you a product that they're proud of too. Yeah. The rumor is going to be uh, Doomfist as the next one. Yo, Do- Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. So we're getting. We're gonna. You know, we should. We should probably oh, get him as a guest for Odafest. He's totally going. To, he's <laughs> totally going to have an emote where it's just him pumping his pecs. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. It's going to be amazing. No, it's going to be so like, oh, like the oh, Terry Crews scream. Yo, it's going to be, yo, and you know how he's going to be strong and stuff. Yeah. Right? My heart's also strong. It's going to be like that full metal alchemist. Oh my where, God. Yes. Yeah. The handshake. Like, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the manly handshake. Oh, like, boom. That's sparkles. What are, that's the next level of emotes, right? They yeah. Like have interactive, interactive, like two person emotes. emotes. Like, T- like TF2. Yeah, like TF2, yeah, like yeah. the high fives and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, just. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, wow. Speaking of when, stuff, speaking man. of holiday events, Destiny is getting its Sparrow racing back. And see, okay, I don't that, even know what Destiny is. Oh come on, I don't know what really? a Sparrow is. <laughs> it's like it's like this little motor. It's like your imagine like mounts in uh um in Skyrim, right? But now you can do like horse racing, except you're on so, a, like a I space can do that in GTA with my car. That's, that's yeah, actually no, that is kind of cool. I'll, is, I'll give you that. Yeah, it's that like is, a whole it's a whole new game mode that yeah. they're putting back into the game for. And it's, it's seasonal, but like they're putting it into the private matches and stuff. Seasonal, like how they had hockey for Rocket League and. And they're like, oh, this yeah. is good enough that we're going to integrate this it. Yeah, this exactly. Isn't yeah, super yeah. New. This isn't super new for GTA, but just as a comparable, I'm going to guess it's kind of like the stunt racing that GTA has now, yeah. where kinda. it's like you get supercars and you're running around on a Hot Wheels track. Kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something amazing. Yeah, kind of like that. Um,
the, the quality of skating games, I have to say, it has oh, not God. been as good since PS the or, last or since uh, the PS PS two or three three. I think three, three was kind of their peak. Three was the peak. I, yeah. I feel well. Underground was supposed to be pretty good too. I didn't really yeah. play Underground. Underground was the first game. Here's something interesting that I don't know if, how many people know, but Underground was the first game that they were making that allegedly had no loading screens past like Ever? getting into the like getting into the world yeah. but between worlds they had they they advertised that they, they had no loading interesting. I'll, to, I'll have to look that up that that sounds really just cool. for the just for the trivia bit just for the trivia well yeah. I, I i'm a nerd for i could be totally trivia. wrong nerd be, general. but it yeah. was a pro skater it was a tony hawk's pro skater game <laughs> um but yeah they the last tony hawk pro skater was apparently like supposed to be a mobile like yeah. phone game and then yeah. they ported a ps4 and, and like the whole skate the skate games are a whole skate mm-hmm. genre yeah, yeah and there's no skate 3 either yeah, from ea yeah uh but yeah, no, um, I, I think that's uh, the Destiny update is actually how you're supposed to be doing uh, content updates in MMOs, especially the ones without, um, mm. uh, subscribe, subscription fees. Because like, it, yeah, it's like a little winter event, right? Yeah, man. And in most games, they're just like, oh, it's new skins, but new emotes and stuff. This one's actually feels like a, like a flushed out content drop. There's new quests, there's mm-hmm. new items, they're bringing back, uh, fan demanded weapons, fan demanded game modes and stuff. And like that, that's how you should be like treating your customers, I feel, right? Yeah. Speaking of like, uh, just con- like new content, uh, I want to skip over really quickly to Pokemon because uh, Pokemon Go, yeah. Pokemon uh, Go yeah. uh, is getting their new update pretty soon. There's right. been a leak. Is that the second gen update? Yeah, the second gen update's coming this month. Like it's pretty much confirmed to me this month. No one knows exactly sure, but okay. Uh, by the time this episode is released, there's a chance that it's already going to be released because there was a leak for uh, Starbucks. Starbucks was hosting this event, some uh, co-hosting thing. And they mentioned Gen Two stuff, and that's supposed to be December. 8th. Oh wow! Okay, that's that's kind of major. So that's actually that's major. Yeah, yeah. December eighth, like tomorrow, December. Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, at recording time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think they're past the initial wave of nostalgia now, and now they're going to focus on like you know instead of capitalizing on the whole Gen One nostalgia, they're going to go like, hey, they're going to well, I think they're going to go hardcore on the actual gaming portion now because yeah, be, uh, they 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 they've made some improvements from what I know. Like I haven't played trading while, is in now, right? Trading might be, and I'm not sure. No, to be okay. honest, but I, they, the, another thing where well, no, but, you know, in. trading in. Ditto's in. Yep. But like uh, you know, like trading. Uh, in your Pokemon for candy and stuff, right. yeah. you don't have to do it individually now. You can just like, oh, you like can if you have like finally... 16 Bulbasaurs, then oh. you could be like, all these Bulbasaurs are, are sent to the candy factory. You know what I mean? The, the past what else, who how, played how this game is really happy about this. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, how many people do you know still play it though? Like, I know, I know like, a few. Actually, I do know a few. Really? Oh, okay. I still have it on my phone. I just don't really turn on it anymore, man. Yeah, this it's is, it's a battery killer. It's yeah. it's not really worth it anymore. Yeah. Well, I remember I my it doesn't like, cost you anything. It isn't really worth anything. I my peak was when I decided to try botting, and I know there's a whole like <laughs> stigma with botting, and yeah. so the I, I specifically like you can configure them. So I specifically configured it not to battle. Not to go crazy, right? Well, like, like it can go crazy all at once, but I just didn't want it to battle. Just, I didn't want it to affect other people's games, if yeah. that makes sense. Because I feel like that is unfair. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to see like how high a level I could get just by leaving a bot to run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And after three days, I was level level like twenty five. Which but the problem is, if you think is about like, the experience. That's a that's a long time if you're actually playing on your own. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what? If it takes a and, bot and, this and the long, biggest issue, I don't know if I want to play. The biggest mm-hmm. issue is like that exp- like we've talked about it before when it was popular, is that experience curve is just insane Ridiculous. for a game like Ridiculous. that. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's not like it's not fair. It's not fair, no. And but I mean like it's it's that's the thing about the mobile games, right? Yeah. It, it's it's a free product, and it's until you, it's not, right? Until it's not, and you don't pay that initial like physical copy or whatever, right? It's it's not like your Battlefield ones, which actually have the same sort of microtransaction systems, but hey, at least you pay that first eighty bucks, right? That actually goes towards supporting. The game. It's, it's difficult. Yeah, there's just, part of me that agrees, and part of me that disagrees with the whole "it was free, so you're not entitled to anything." Like, I absolutely agree. Yeah, yeah. you got it for free. Mm-hmm. And so what right do you have to make a demand of the of the publisher to, yeah. to do My whatever? My issue is, but honestly, then, is that because it's viewed as a casual style of game. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and like, that, it's more like the intended audience is, like, it's us a little bit with, like, the nostalgia factor. And it's also for kids, man. Yeah. And, yeah. like... Look, you can dig into my wallet if, like, because I'm I'm an adult. I have my jobs. I'm, I make I make money, and if I I can choose damn well what I want to do with that money. But you're telling a kid that, like, you know, who mm-hmm. doesn't have these things, and he's like, yeah, don't spend your allowance money on this stuff, right? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, it's yeah. not it's not yeah. a good way to to build mm-hmm. uh, fiscal responsibility as well, and, and right. all this other stuff, man. Like, Speaking I just of, don't like that idea. Yeah. Speaking of allowance money, it it dawns on me every once in a while that hey, I'm an adult. I can buy all the five cent candy I want, which is at some places, it's now ten cent candy. Yeah, five cent candy doesn't really exist. Doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah. Anyway, one so cent like, candy doesn't exist anymore. No, sometimes I do that. It's like if I if I pull over to get gas, I'm just yeah. like, 
I want some candy. And I just walk in there like and slap just, down twenty dollars. Yeah, no, I, I've literally it. bought like like uh, fistfuls of candy yeah. before. No, I can beat like, that. I once bought because one of my favorite treats is like uh, cookies and cream, like yeah. the Hershey's cookie and cream bar. Oh yeah, I, I know where you're coming so from. So Bulk Barn. Oh yeah, oh, no. Bulk Barn has bark of it. I oh, bought God. two and a half kilos once. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was seventeen dollars. Oh, dude, how do you like your diabetes? I, by the time, by the end of it, I was like, I'm eating it because I have it, but not because I love it. And, but there's been, <laughs> oh it's been God. like a year <laughs> since I've had it. You should be giving it out. I don't know what you're doing. Shut up. Okay. Don't, don't tell him what to do with his bar. Buy it for Fine. you. Dude, it's like, um, it's like a sudden realization that you have a Costco membership as well. Sometimes I, oh, sometimes man. I remember that. I'm just I like, have one of those. I'm just like, oh yeah, I can, <laughs> I can get like a kilo of lasagna or like a kilo of sour candy. Yeah. Oh, God. What a it's world terrifying. we live in. Yeah, we're, we're grown, we're grown up now. That's, that sometimes I have to stop and think about that. I have to, st- I choose not to stop and think about that. Yeah. Uh, I, I drive a car. What the hell? <laughs> right? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know about that. I've driven know. a car since I was in high school. You're, yeah, that's true. No, but like, no, I was a late bloomer for that. But I mean, um, just, but out of, out of all the late of bloomer, us, like, but then you got a Mercedes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so and, then like, I, and I don't drive, but I mean, I've lived on my own since for like basically yeah. forever. Yeah, at this point, no, but I don't know. Like, like sometimes, sometimes I'm just we're driving, all adults right? in one aspect. Yeah, I'm driving to work, right, to to go make yeah, money. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like yeah. sometimes I'm just sitting in my car. I'm thinking like, wow. The best part is just like yeah, the, the, what's expected of us, <laughs> like in this generation, is like very low. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like, like, well, at least at this point in our lives, it's great. No, but I'm just thinking it's like you know, a decade ago I was sitting on the school bus, right, instead of in my own car. But like it's it's also the thought that like wait a minute that was a decade ago holy yeah, crap yeah you're what two and a half decades old yeah two and a half, around there yeah around there <laughs> around there <laughs> millennial um so old yeah. it's disgusting yeah anyways uh just got a couple of things to wrap up with real quick yep uh I think Alfred has some personal beef with this one ah uh, okay yeah so uh, that so, is the international sound of personal beef yeah yeah um <laughs> pebble. The smartwatch company and that like how many episodes ago did we talk about smartwatches and smart homes and smart long ago yeah that was like a that long was like time. episode two yeah that was um but that was a decade ago in yeah. terms of episodes today <laughs> two today this morning on on the morning of this like recording date um pebble basically announced that they went bankrupt and had sold off all their assets which, so much bankrupt as in but there's still like kickstarted funding through like almost everything like they didn't get enough they didn't get enough to fund their second product and the thing is they were saying that we just need like we're this is all like they almost kickstarted it to just as an advertising thing yeah right but and everyone was like well why would they need to advertise through kickstarter right to pledge right because they just didn't make enough money no they just didn't right and the, the 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 pebble 2 it didn't look different enough in the pebble time which was mm. the one i had right which kickstarter's I, failing is actually more common than we think i know i've read oh, a bunch of oh, board yeah. game companies oh, yeah, like definitely. kickstarter like they meet their exceed their goal by like 300 percent, and then they just drop into bankruptcy right. it happens right happens all the time lot. why is that i don't know what is the cause they get, for that? like if you if you because uh, there's some there's some business well, there's some business work here where you're doing a valuation of your product and your company yeah right yeah before but you should do those things before you go and say like please give me money so I can do this thing, right? Yeah. That, whether it's amazing or not, it doesn't matter what the product actually is, but you need to do this an- analysis. Do do companies not do that, number one? Or are they just okay. not unaware of... Well, I think of, in like, some cases, this isn't a company doing it, right? It's a group of friends who are like, I want to develop yeah. this. And then yeah, they but don't actually have the context the to, to create it in bulk, but, right? But they don't have the, that bulk That's pricing. the case. You're asking for... Extra, it, like, Let's say it's a group of friends thing, sure. right? Like Where it's not like a company, although there are companies that have oh, gone yeah. into this, right? And they're a little bit more successful because they have other backers. Yeah. But the thing is like, why are they not successful? Because if even as a group of friends, I'm assuming you all, uh, let's say half of them even have jobs. Like it's a, it's a weird economy right now, right? Yeah. So maybe not everyone ha- has work and they're counting on this to maybe be the next thing that kind of gets them into their next career. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, is like you should still have like money that you're investing or yeah. money that uh, another income source because that doesn't make any sense. Okay. To well, me at all. well, the thing about Pebble though, right? Was that it was supposed to, it was designed as a cheap, affordable smart it's an watch. amazing product i, yeah, I, I love i, I remember i, I love my pebble it. too right but the thing is though right keep in mind um the people who <laughs> want pebble 
right, are the ones who would use services like Kickstarter, who would follow tech news, and who would be like, no, this is this does the same thing as Android Wear. It just looks less. Yeah, definitely so for, caters to so a specific them, market. Right. Just, so, so it's a, look, it's a specific market, and the people who bought one have already gotten one. And the thing is, when you release to such a small incremental upgrade like that, you've already tapped out your audience, right? I was gonna say, and you have so much competition nowadays. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, I mean, the thing right. is, when though, they first started, they were they were they were much. Uh, they they were typing into a newer market, right? Smartwatches didn't effectively really didn't exist, exist uh, with the exception of the Apple Watch, right? But I mean, like, no, I, I think they came before the Apple Watch. Yeah, they so, were wearing, they were one of the very first, right? So I I think see the average consumer when you take take a look at a Pebble versus say an Android Wear or an Apple Watch, it looks low tech. They don't care about the battery life. They don't care that they care about the flashy features. Yeah, they don't care that it still does everything that the Android Wear can do. Right? They should have licensed. They should. they should have patented and licensed. Well, actually, no, but I think I know where you're coming from. So yeah. I think a company like Pebble, like you say, like it has, I don't want to see a niche market, but definitely a very specific market. Right. And so when they develop a new version, mm-hmm. it has, every new version they come up with has to be a game changer. It has to be something that someone who owns a current Pebble would be like, I want to buy this. No, because exactly. That Especially, in, yeah, yeah. Again, but they can't a, do that a, if they just release incremental. That's a new type of product. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. Right? Like it's not about, it's not like a graphics card, like, like yeah. just a, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah. great comparable, but mm-hmm. graphics cards can increase incrementally yeah. uh, and, and still call that new iterations a product that you want to exactly. buy. Exactly. Right? Well, Whereas things, like, well, when you well, first start off, you have to grab the entire market. As the much difference as between can. a graphics card and the Pebble Watch, though, is that a graphics card, they'll usually release, you know, like three iterations at a time or really close right. to each other. And they'll be like a low end, a mid end, and a high end. Yeah. Yep. Whereas and the and Pebble, they made one watch, which was great and everyone loved. Mm. And then they made another watch, which was just a little bit better. And even but then, everyone who was already going to buy a Pebble already had Even one. then, with the graphics card, you can even just say, like, look, there's a measurable metric that you can say this is better. Yeah, right? sure. Like, it does more. Right? Again, I think it's just a, it, it's a victim of competition, number, t- number one. And number yeah, two is just, 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 you need to grab more market share if, especially yeah. if you're one of the first out the door because no, Pebble is one of the first this out the door this lack of innovation this is what was saying because like I saw the Pebble too that was like I have a, pe- I, have a I have a time This I don't need this I just literally don't right it's mm-hmm. got a bigger screen by how big well it's on your wrist right yeah, yeah. does does a, does a slightly by a few millimeters bigger screen sure. make that huge and this is actually right? I, I hate to say this but this is why some companies have planned obsolescence Right. Right. This right. is exactly the kind of problem that that ideology overcomes. And Pebble being, you know, like, I guess, good guy Pebble yeah. didn't do that. And kind of that ended up shooting themselves in the foot. Right. Well, yeah. either way, they're being uh, somewhat acquired by, by Fitbit. Fitbit, which I'm not happy about at all because, like... Maybe, it may, look, it might, it's technically a lack of competition doesn't usually help a product, but maybe the, like enough of that team from yeah. Pebble can really influence how uh, Fitbit operates as maybe, well. Maybe, Maybe you get a better product over it. But now, now you're, you're talking Fitbit. Well, okay, Fitbit's a good fit to, uh, to, uh, um, compete with, you know, like the likes of Apple and Android Wear, right? Because they're, they're like a simple, low tech, affordable yes. smartwatch, but it happens to be a fitness tracker, right? Mm-hmm. Versus Pebble was like, it's a smartwatch, but it happens to have a fitness tracker. So, um, I think that might some good things might come out of it, but like the thing is though, what I'm upset about is that my current Pebble, the functionality will not be there anymore because the servers are shutting down. Yeah, right, and so, it's weeding on itself off the cloud functionality. Yeah, and so like I that. mean, like I don't expect Fitbit to honor that, right? To 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 they're take not. advantage. They've, they've already. You, no. know, you have to expect or not. Like, yeah, they've they're, outright they're not, said it's not going to happen. Yeah, they're not. They're going to be like, yeah, we're not going to like support the existing user base infrastructure, right? infrastructure. Yeah. but do you think that pebble might come back and say no. i don't know like they have it... no obligation to them no no sorry i'm not saying that i'm saying do you think that pebble right now will kind of switch over or send out an update or something to switch over like the cloud-based service of the watch to make it more local so that you can still use the hardware uh i doubt it i doubt it it's just that they have other than the existing It'd be Pebble such an user base, death. which isn't yeah. that big, because obviously if there was bigger, they the wouldn't, have wouldn't have been as many problems. Like yes, we could talk though. about the whole iterations thing, but the fact is they need they needed a bigger audience as yeah, well. Yeah, right? yeah. That's definitely so a thing. the truth is like Fitbit, why are, why would they bother expending resources? Because it's not like they're the biggest smart smartwatch company out there either, right? Right. So they have something to lose if they try and bring on pebbles problems essentially yeah no and that's like i wasn't i wasn't trying to get at fitbit should do this i was trying to i was kind of thinking of maybe they could do this as kind of like a a last action to be like hey you have a pebble watch we'll make it self-sustaining because we're shutting our servers down no no they they are trying to make it self-sustaining is what they're trying to say but in the sense that they're i think if i had to guess they're they're saying that they're very unlikely to uh 
release any more firmware. Yeah. But I'm gonna yep. guess that the last big firmware release for that watch will be localizing is everything. Yeah. Essentially, just like well, t- we'll turn off you know what cloud and make it and try right. to make We're it as uh, independent as possible. Yeah. Um, it'd be great anyways. if they just open sourced their software or their firmware. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, and actually, that, like I said, they should have licensed. But again, Android Wear. Some right? of their stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. the kind of good thing. They should have patented and licensed just like Fujifilm yep. back in the day. Yep. Anyways, that's pretty much it for our episode. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for Bayfar being here today. Uh-huh. Yeah, that this was going to be the Bayfar episode. Yeah, that was a great discussion, actually. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was very. Does that mean hey. I'm not coming back ever? Yeah, basically. <laughs> no. You mean this whole it. episode wasn't just all of us laughing like incessantly for? <laughs> no, I was. I'm, for yeah, minutes. it turned out well. Yeah. We, we didn't just. I'm glad you guys have such high expectations of me. Well, we, we've been hyping wow, you it up. Turned out well. We've been hyping you up for like the entire season. We didn't fail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of here. All right, bye. This is Jay signing off. This is Albert signing off. Oh, baby. Bye. Bye.